If you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I have done a lot of things in my past that I hate. Shauna, I really want her to have a channel and she has a lot of fans and like, she doesn't know what she's doing, she doesn't know how to make a video, she's black. So I've learned I am an empath, right? Oh, I love you too. Oh, I love you too. No, shut up and twerk. I'm angry. The fact that $850,000 got put into making something that was so egregiously offensive. I'm disgusting. Oh yeah, daddy likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, picture time. And they said, so what do you do? And I said, oh, I make comedy for kids. It always scares me because I'm like, if somebody stole my computer, you know how much blackmail they would have on me? I mean, the fact that I haven't been on to catch a predator yet is like a miracle. I have cancer. And I actually only have a year. This is a bad idea. Anytime I do this tiny chance, I always say something or show something inappropriate. I'm lying. I ain't got cancer. First of all, I'm not racist. But. Shane Dawson. <gasps> Congratulations for surpassing 10 million. This is insane. This is insane. I'm losing my mind. And I promise that whatever I do next will be putting good into the world. And it won't be putting hate or drama or anything negative. And um, I'm going to stick by that. I'm genuinely, like, too nice of a person. Very caring of a person. One thing Shane loved to tell his audience was how kind he was, what a good person he was, how he was so empathetic towards other people. Why do I want to get so deep with people and talk to people and like try to help them and all of that? Because you're empathic. So an empath. So I've learned I'm an empath, right? He thought of himself as an empath, but it seemed that his empath powers only worked with other humans. Ah! Ah! Oh yeah, daddy likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so gross. oh yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> me. That was me when I was an eight. Oh my god. He does this every time. <laughs> Spit in his mouth. Yeah. You are disgusting. He loves it. Do you do that on camera? Do people know can you do that? I don't think so. I don't do that. That's gross. It's disgusting. It's abuse. I mean, it's it's so upset. They only knew the real you. The way Shane would treat animals was a disturbing sight for many. And even when not physically touching an animal, there was still something deeply unnerving about how he would speak about them. Is he gonna come? Whoa! Is that oh a dick? my god. Is that a cat dick? He's literally cleaning his cum off. Ew, oh, that's really? so gross. I think so. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna go. Muffins is already asleep over there, so I'm gonna go join her. And uh, we're gonna have a wild cat's night. Without a doubt, Shane's most infamous clip on the internet involving himself and an animal is the clip of him discussing he and his cat's special relationship. The things I've done to my poor animals, they will never love me. Mm. It's a terrible thing. I used to... Oh, <laughs> oh no. I don't know if you want to go there, Shane. What'd you do? <laughs> One time, I laid my cat down on her back. Did you get arrested for this? I don't... I don't know. No. Think about it. Mm. I don't think so. Okay, go ahead. I didn't penetrate. <laughs> I laid the cat down on her back and then I, I, I moved her little chicken legs, like, you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just, like, hump, but, like, on her tummy, like, that's not weird. Like, whatever. And then I humped and I humped and I humped and I kept going and kept going. I came all over the cat. No, you did not. It was my first sexual experience. No I was also, way. like, 19. <laughs> so it's like, you know. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Did you just say you came on a cat? Guys, I think I have to put money in them either. Yeah, right? <laughs> Shane would respond to the cat story, but only years later when it resurfaced and went viral. Shane took to Twitter to make clear to everyone that he did not do anything wrong with his cat and that it was simply a lie to get a reaction. Lying to his audience wasn't great, but it was the lesser of the two evils here. He could either be known as a liar 
or as a man who had an intimate relationship with a cat. Only Shane and his cat could know for certain if anything untoward did happen between them, though it did sound as if Shane was recounting a genuine story from his past. But what was his audience meant to think now? Whenever Shane said anything, they weren't sure if it was a real story from his life or just a lie to get a reaction. It was an accident and I was licking her, I was blowing on her stomach or whatever and then she jumped up and kicked and then her whole vagina was in my mouth and Lisa started screaming and I started screaming. As I was mid-story about one incident where my dog licked my butthole while I was m and I didn't push him away. Perhaps all those times we saw Shane being inappropriate with an animal, it was just a joke in his mind. However, he still put his face in a dog's crutch. He still screamed in a cat's face. He still allowed animals to lick his tongue, and he still spat in a dog's mouth. And from the sounds of it, that wasn't the first time he had spat in a dog's mouth. Joke or no joke, these things actually happened. And they happened, as always, in front of Shane Dawson's child audience. If they only knew the real you. Shane's behavior around animals was alarming, yet he became one of the biggest YouTubers of all time acting like that. What really grew his channel though, especially in the early days, was his sketches, and Shane's empath powers were on full display then. Yo man, we got a hot one right here. We got a hot one right here. Aw, oh, thanks, boo. Not you. I got a hot pocket. It's bomb as hell. If you're a troublemaker, I'll be on your ass like flies on dog, little girl. Hey Corbin, you know what I want to do? Get naked, sing show tunes, and tickle each other's ass with a feather? How you do? Welcome to the Wendy Williams Show. Bum, 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 bum. The word of the day is... Shane wasn't content making fun of just one race though, everyone was fair game. Oh my gosh y'all, picture time! And I'm the fun semi-Asian one who laughs at everything even though it's not funny! <laughs> well that was disturbing! <laughs> Yet I'm still laughing! <laughs> Reary? Black baby party! Shane wouldn't or couldn't do jokes in his sketches. The entire gag was seeing him dressed up. That was it. There was no setup, no payoff, and no punchline. His comedy may not have been clever, but his kid audience couldn't get enough. Do you like Shane Dawson? Yeah, he's funny. I think he's hilarious and extremely talented. That was funny. I could be totally upset, and then I can watch one, and for like that span of time, I just laughed. How old do you think people are that are watching Shane videos? 10 and up. 12, 13 year olds. Teens and even kids. And how old do you think you should be to watch Shane Dawson videos? I want to definitely say high school. At least 14. 17. At least 18. <laughs> how old were you when you started watching Shane? Like 13. <laughs> do you think that parents know that their young kids are watching Shane? <laughs> Probably not. No. 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 I think that their parents do not know, and I'm guessing the kids don't fully understand what they're watching either. He seems like a genuinely nice guy. He has a lot of sex, and he's always thinking about sex. If you were old enough, would you want to date Shane Dawson? I don't know. I don't know. I like funny guys, so maybe. I would love to date Shane Dawson. Call me. He's definitely influencing, um, like, the culture of today. For as long as Shane Dawson had uploaded to YouTube, he had people calling him out for his offensive characters. Shane, though, for the longest time, could see no problem with what he was doing. I don't see anything wrong with me wearing chocolate pudding, pretending to be a black person dancing around with fake boobs in my friend's backyard. It wasn't as if no one knew about the kind of comedy Shane was doing. It's what got him popular in the first place. It's just that not enough people cared. 
Dane Dawson is here, up for creator of the year. Spent half his career in blackface. Huh? Nobody remembers Shanene in this room? Okay. Shanene was Shane's most popular character by far. It's the one he did the most, and it's the one that got the biggest reaction from his kid audience. You know who that is? Shanene. Shanene. She's my favorite. I'm not feeling Shanene. Shane was genuinely proud of this Shanene persona. Hey, are you saying Oprah doesn't say the N-word? I think she does. Yes, oh, when, yeah. when Gail's down there eating around, she's like, get it! Get that pussy! And then she like, stand me, go away, I don't need you, no! Like, real deep like that. Would you rather drink a cup of your mom's period blood or a cup of your dad's sperm? Um, How about your grandma's squirt? Shane was so proud of Shanene and saw nothing wrong with this character that he would even flaunt her in front of the public. So we thought it'd be fun to ask all these random ass people on the beach what they thought about some hot topics from summer 2012. Hold on, we talking about my again? No, we talking about mine. <laughs> what grade are you in? Seventh. Seventh, yeah, I was pregnant by then. Can I touch you please? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You underage, right? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Shane would eventually apologize for his offensive videos where he would portray and make fun of other races. However, his apology only came once the calls grew too loud to ignore any more, and this would be a running theme throughout Shane's career. Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, okay, um, I don't really know how to do this video. Um, I didn't really plan it out. I didn't like write it down because I, I didn't want it. I wanted it to be real I, from my heart. I didn't want to script it. This video is, is an apology um, and it's not a fake apology. I'm not, nobody told me to do this. If anything, people told me not to do this. They're like, Shane, don't talk about this. Like, it's just gonna raise more attention to it. It's just gonna, and, but I want to, I want to raise attention to it because past few days, um, there's been a lot going on on Twitter and Tumblr and um, a lot of other places that my mom doesn't know how to find. And, um, and basically saying that I am racist. <sighs> ah, I've, First of all, I'm not racist, but uh, this video is not me defending myself or telling you why I'm not racist and I, I love black people, guys. Uh, it's not that. This video is me apologizing because I understand why some people think that. I've done that. Shouldn't have put makeup on my face to look black. I shouldn't have done it. It was stupid. Um, it wasn't mean-spirited. It wasn't malicious. It was just stupid and offensive and a lot of people are upset about it and I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, so I'm apologizing. I deleted all of the videos that I could find of me doing anything that offensive. You know, I'm sorry. You know, genuinely, this isn't fake. I'm not. I'm just, I'm sorry. Hopefully at some point in my career I will be able to have people not look at me like that. Like the offensive, shocking YouTube guy, because I'm not. I'm a nice person. <laughs> Even in Shane's apology video, he had to tell his audience he was a nice person. And he apologized while sitting on the toilet, which was an odd choice of setting to be serious with his audience. Um, okay, I just broke a toilet. Shane filmed this apology video in 2014, but in his 2018 video with YouTuber James Charles, Shane was wearing Shanene merch. He may have told everyone he was only joking when playing these offensive, stereotyped characters, but the fact that he was still wearing Shanene merch and still promoting this type of stuff years later was not a good look for somebody who was apparently sorry. And he didn't apologize for his other offensive, lazy, stereotyped characters. He apologized for dressing up as black people only. He didn't apologize for the things he would say about black people only for dressing as them. Just because I don't invite the black neighbors over to play in my pool doesn't mean I'm racist. It means I'm careful. 
Almost That's nasty. Like, it's the black girl's hair on the back of the box. Oh, all, black, about all black people have diabetes, That's right? True. Shane didn't apologize because he came to some profound epiphany. No, Shane apologized to save his brand. And this was not the actions of an empath. That was kind of racist, wasn't it? I didn't mean it to be. Oops. Because some clips have re-emerged that are just not good. And quite frankly, disgusting. Now this is so like dark and disturbing and sick. That Give me an honest answer. Do you think Shane Dawson is a? My reaction was, I don't think so. And the fact that I wasn't able to confidently state, hell no, of course not. Like, why are you even asking me that? Is a problem. If I personally knew somebody who talked about children that way, I would not interact with them. I would not, quite simply. I would never let somebody like that around my children. Shane Dawson will be canceled hard tomorrow with multiple exposed videos about his inappropriate behavior with minors. Amazingly, Shane's offensive characters and the way he acted around animals were not the most alarming things Shane has done online. I don't care if you're a pet when you work at Chuck E. Cheese as the ball pit security. Hey, stop hitting your brother with those balls, you bad little boy. Yeah, you're so bad. You like being bad? You like playing with those balls and being a bad little boy? And that is how a vagina works. I thought this was English class. This is a penis. Well, let's be more realistic. That's a penis. You got the question wrong. You know what that means. Yeah. <gasps> look at that tummy. See that tummy? Also, look at those tiny little perky ass titties. Oh, I wish I could suck his. I did. It was so good. Me too. <laughs> You're so horrible. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, we're here at a kid's store. <laughs> I'm here with a kid. And yes, I am sick. That's why I sound like Lindsay Lohan, Miley Cyrus, both choking on my- Oh! Ooh, my heart's racing. <laughs> I'm a little kid when it comes to stuff like this, you know, I get a little nervous. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna ask you. Can I touch your titties? No. No! <laughs> what is this, a PG relationship? What, can I not even hold your hand? What is this, Shrek? <laughs> Might as well be Shrek, because you look like a big, fat, green ogre, you <laughs> So, um, maybe we could just take it slow. Maybe we could, you know, kiss? Shane's favorite theme was never more prevalent than in his Hey Millie series, a show about an eight-year-old puppet that was made specifically for children. Yeah, and I, Carly, she's so cool and attractive. I love the way her hair flows down her back and brushes over her tight ass. Oh, that shit's so hot. And you know her and her butch friend experiment. I mean, wouldn't you, Deezy? Oh, on her newly developed breast, they're speaking to me. They're saying, hey, hey, Melanie, do you want to suck on us? Ooh. I mean, don't you think she's sexy, Daisy? Mm. Hey, what does sexy mean? Whoa! Jump up! Daisy, did you just come? Uh, yeah. I mean, no. I mean... <sighs> Whoa! That reminds me of the thing that my dad used to shove in my mouth when I was three. Mm. Mm. You know what we could do, Melanie? What? Shane, hey, hey, Shane? What? Is it wrong to touch yourself in the nether regions? 
Despite Shane's interactions being with just the puppet, it was still unnerving to watch, and if his interactions with a fake child were bad, it would become almost unwatchable when he would interact with a real child in his 12-year-old cousin. Good job, Lucy! But next time, shake your titties more. And you, take off the jacket and show more. Good job over there. Hey, what's up, you guys? So it is family day, and like every family day, it's full of emotional eating. And Lucy, I checked my statistics, and I have a lot of child molest watching, so can you please eat a cocktail weenie? Do it slow. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like that chocolate, that weenie. Ooh, it tastes so good. We want to know. We have a question. What is it? Very important question. And you don't need to feel shy about it. No, <laughs> you really? You it's really, natural. It's natural. Is there anybody around? No. It's natural. Yeah. So we want to talk to you. We want to explain what sex is. So we did get yeah. really quiet. Oh, where's the other peep? We should probably oh, explain. Yeah, we'll just use, <laughs> we'll use peeps. Okay, well, one peep and then we'll use you. Oh. Okay. So... <laughs> I'll just pretend like that's, you know, I mean, that works. Lucy, this happens. See, oop. <laughs> ah, and then, and then you're so happy when you're an adult. I can't believe I'm endorsing this. <laughs> Shane's girlfriend at the time, Lisa Schwartz, who took part in this disgusting video, would later come out and apologize, acknowledging that it was wrong of her to have acted in this predatory way. Shane wasn't just inappropriate with children he knew. Oh God, oh, I'll whip your hair back and forth. Oh, oh. Shane thought it would be a good idea to film himself in front of a poster of Willow Smith, the daughter of actor Will Smith, doing what he did. Willow's mother, Jaden, would tweet about Shane as well as Willow's brother Jaden, would also tweet about Shane's behaviour. Shane had already apologised over his intimate story about him and his cat that he told when on his podcast, and Shane doing any sort of podcast didn't seem like a good idea. Um, it was right after a meet and greet, and I was in, uh, I think, a 7-Eleven or something, and I was like looking for medicine, I don't remember, I was sick. I was kissing a lot of fans on the lips. Um, I saw that. Balls. Yeah, I was out of it. Baller. I was like, yeah. super sinus infection, totally out yeah, of it. A yeah, couple yeah. fireballs in. Cool. Which, man. by the way, can we talk about? Do you have fans who um, want to fuck you? Like, but young? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't. People don't like tweet at me or like write that above. I mean, people write it in the comments on YouTube, but I try to not go that far into it. That's the thing. Like, I get a lot of. Um, like a lot of these young girls, like twelve, just, yeah. oh, she have a fuck in my mouth, like all this stuff, okay. um, and and I see the <laughs> tweets, and then I meet them in person, and they'll like grab my butt, and I'll hear them like, I touched his ass, oh, I wanted to fuck my pussy or whatever. <laughs> but then I think about it, I think about it, and I'm like, okay, should I call them on their bluff? Like, what oh if a fan God. comes up and they're like twelve? It's about to get real. They're like twelve, and they're like, oh, she, oh, and I fuck the and suck my dick and suck my pussy or whatever. And then what if I looked at them, and what if I was like. What is Kim Kardashian? Is she half black? No, she's Armenian. No, is she yeah. wore Rebecca Black. Is it looks similar? Oh, uh, no, I, I don't think we were. Rebecca, Rebecca Black has made a l little less of a sex tape. <laughs> she hasn't had sex with as many black guys. She did probably with that guy in that she's band. She's fifteen. Stop it. She's growing up, she's, she's almost sixteen. Not. But oh, I would molest kids on my street. <laughs> um, and that's another thing that they say that kids who are abused sexually abused do like i would like make kids on my street like take their pants off and i'd spank them or like do weird shit to them and it didn't feel weird at the time but looking back i'm like ew i was yeah. like molesting kids and i apologized to them i found them on facebook i'm like you sorry did? for molesting did you did they like, remember they're like one of them did one of them was like yeah that's why my family made me stop hanging out with you and I'm like, shane had admitted to molesting children and that's why the parents of one of those children didn't want them to be friends with Shane anymore. Why Shane thought this was a funny story was bizarre to say the least. Shane's mind clearly didn't work like it should have. 
you're disgusting. So I know. Listen, we've talked about pedophilia no, no, this before. Is the, it's, Shane, like, I, like, do not say this. And, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, you will get arrested. Like, okay. he kind of can. Listen, he, he allegedly. Has a justification, justification for pedophilia, okay. and it's so disturbing. And like, I, I just pretend that he doesn't. <laughs> okay, wait, no, like, no. Let me explain. Let no. me explain. Oh God. Here's my justification for pedophilia. I can't. Okay. First of all, let me just say. Having sex with children or touching children or anything of that nature is terrible sure. and you should not do it. But, but, <laughs> but, here's my thing. People have foot fetishes. People have fetishes about, you know, everything. And there's websites on the internet where they can look at that weird, creepy shit and jerk off to it. Okay, fine. Everybody do your thing. So why is it when somebody looks at a... Google's like naked baby on Google and jerks off to it, they can get arrested. Because, I don't understand because that. Because there's a naked baby, because they had to, because somebody took a picture of a naked baby. But, and I they mean, don't, and then by the way, they're not Googling naked baby. They're Googling like, I'm not going to say what they're Googling. I mean, I watch a lot of Law and Order. Which so is like, the worst part of it. I actually went to Google and I'm like, oh God. I don't want to see. You I don't want to it. I know, but I didn't want to see child porn. But I just wanted to see like, okay. Let me just pretend, let me pretend like I'm a pedophile for a sec. Okay, by the way, just for the record, the <laughs> police, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't know this. Like, you can literally get arrested for saying I know, let, let me, let me finish. So I typed in naked baby. First of all, I don't understand why anybody would be turned on by that. But. That's the first good thing you said. But. They were sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, back to the Instagram. Shane was talking on his podcast with his friend Lauren, the woman most will recognize as the poor woman who Shane was cruel to on the set of his movie Not Cool. When talking with Lauren, it was Lauren who brought up that Shane had a justification for this sick behavior. It was clearly something they had discussed off air, suggesting this wasn't Shane Dawson saying things on a podcast for shock value. It appeared as though this was Shane's true belief, and once again, the people listening to this were children. So it kind of makes sense to me, um, even though it's horrible and I don't think molesting children is good, it kind of makes sense to me why he actually molests children, and um, that's kind of how I feel with it. Does anybody agree? This Twitter chat's kind of slow, but does anybody agree? I kind of feel like that's how it is. So, I don't know. Um, it kind of makes sense, right? Like, that's, that's how I look at it. It's like, you know when you were five? When you're five years old and you had a crush on a five-year-old girl or boy, because you guys are both five, but you look back on it now and you're like, how could I have liked a five-year-old? It's like that. He likes five-year-olds because he's five mentally. So I don't, I don't think he was an evil person. I don't think he's in hell. I, I don't know, but I don't think he's an evil person. But I definitely think he was mentally. There's a problem. Clips of Shane's vile comments he said on the podcast would be shared around the internet, and Shane would come out to defend himself. Once again though, only when the calls grew too loud for him to ignore. Shane's usual M.O. I took Google and I'm like, oh God, I don't want to see... You can I don't want to I know, but I didn't want to see child porn, but I just wanted to see like, okay, let me just pretend, yeah. let me pretend like I'm a pedophile for a sec. Okay, by the way, just for the record, <laughs> police, I have nothing to do with this, I didn't know this. Like, you can literally get arrested for saying I know, this. Let, let me, let me finish. Okay. So I typed in naked baby. First of all, I don't understand why anybody would be turned on by that. But. That's the first good thing you said. But. They were sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, back to the Instagram. Um, so I look at this. Uh, I wanted to play that clip in full. I mean, that moment especially in full. <sighs> Just for context. Because that seems to be missing <laughs> nowadays. I cannot believe that I am having to make this video. I cannot believe that this is happening. I... <laughs> I'm gonna start by saying I am not a fucking pedophile. I, Shane Yaw, my real name, go on record saying I am not a f***ing pedophile. Got it? Great. There's my statement. It's disgusting that people are saying I'm a fucking pedophile because of some shitty ass fucking jokes from six years ago on a podcast. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apologize first. I am sorry that I used to make really shitty jokes. I am sorry that I was so f***ing like 
insecure and like playing this character of this guy who's like crazy and will say anything and like tries to make people laugh by shocking them. That was my thing. That was what I did on YouTube. A lot of people now don't know that. I wasn't confident enough to make smarter jokes. I was making the easy jokes. I was playing crazy stereotypical characters. I was, I've changed so much as a person and as a creative and a director and a writer and stuff. Like the stuff that I was saying back in those back in those times, I would never say no. Basically, there's a clip right now called Shane Dawson is a pet. And then it says proof. First of all, that's illegal. You can't say somebody's a pet and say so you have proof. Shane was angry someone made a video claiming he was a predator without real proof. And he was right. You cannot claim someone is a predator without proof. Proof of someone being a predator would be if the person in question had in his or her possession indecent images of children. Okay, so on Daily Booth, I asked you guys to show me your best rape face. That was the day I was on a lot of Vicodin. <laughs> Sounded like a fun game at the time. Let's look at some of the fun pictures. Oh, ooh, she's done this before. I'm guessing by this picture, she likes to be raped? I don't know. Whoa. Okay, why is Emily Osment from Hannah Montana trying to get me to suck her d The worst is when I get pictures from like 10 year olds who are really getting into it. I don't want to put those on this video because I don't, I don't think I can. A predator is someone who would make inappropriate physical contact with kids. Okay, well, I think I okay, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Thank you. I love you. Okay, so please explain what you want me to do. Um, I want him to chew that gum and then give it to me. In your mouth? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Yes! I'm going to jail! <laughs> a predator is someone who would go into chat rooms with a bunch of children, saying things no decent parent would be happy hearing being said to their child. Oh my god, can you guys see my pants? <laughs> you did, huh? I was like itching myself and I'm not wearing any pants. And then I realized I was on camera. This is a bad idea. Anytime I do these tiny chats, I always say something or show something inappropriate. He's got home from the hospital, alley cake. Why? Did somebody get too rough with you last night? Oh my god, I'm looking at your profile picture and you're like 12 years old, that was too far. Did somebody get really rough with you last night? Uh, someone in the 6th grade took you to the 12th grade. You are all my valentine. Fake breasts, vagina, dripping with magic. An angel singing, smell your dick. I love your hair. A predator is someone who manipulates a child into thinking that their highly inappropriate behavior is somehow acceptable. I saw your thread about Shane Dawson and I wanted to let you know about a website called Tiny Chat. Shane Dawson talked to young teenagers on there, including me. He would low-key ignore you unless you did something crazy, like twerking. I was 11, I remember learning how to twerk. So that way, when he joined our group chat, he would notice me. When I did, he said something along the lines of, Yes! Shake that sexy little ass! At the time, I was so flattered, but growing up, I think about it and I feel violated and manipulated. Here's another thing to add. When I was 13 or 14 years old, he commented on my tits. He gave me a lot of attention back then, and I was so flattered at the time. Over the years, I realized how predatory and how creepy that was. The fact that he would video chat constantly with me and so many other underage girls says a lot. And some dark stuff went on in there around Christmas time in like 2012. He told us about his eating disorder and how he lost all his weight. He told us he had never admitted it publicly. Sometimes girls would twerk for his attention. When I was on, I never got on webcam because it felt weird, but I'd always chat and watch the others. But just the whole concept of this 20-some-year-old man joining a web chat group filled with teen girls was pretty weird. 
When I was 13 years old, I and a few other girls were Shane Stans, and we called ourselves Dawson Whores, which is super weird and pretty gross. Anyways, we weren't a large group like other Stans, but there was a good chunk of us, maybe 30 of us, and we had this tiny chat group. We'd all be on our webcams, talking to each other, and always asking Shane to please get on and join us. Mind you, we're all a group of teens ranging from 12 to 16. Shane Dawson created a weird sexual tension between himself and his very young female audience. This is why asking him for a kiss ever came to mind for me, because he had opened the door for that kind of thinking and behavior. Not only did he make me think that asking him for a kiss was okay, he agreed to it when he absolutely knew it was not okay. First time I met him was at VidCon 2011. I sobbed as I told him how much he meant to me and gave him sole credit for saving my life. October of that same year, after having recorded the kiss at another meet and greet, he asked me to tweet the video of it to him. I did try, and he either never got to it, or he realized how bad it was and never posted it. I was in love with him, as much as a single 12 year old could be, and he took advantage of me and my loyalty as a fan for the sake of being a predatory online creep, convincing a lot of people that this was just dark humor. We did some like collabs, and he had me like on his podcast when I was oh. younger and mm. and he was very I mean in our like interactions very nice to me mm -hmm. but looking back there were definitely obviously a lot of like really inappropriate bits that he would use about me and my body and really yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that um, was his whole shtick I guess looking back yeah yeah and I know that like you know for whatever reason it was for shock or whatever I don't know if that excuses it but I haven't really talked to him since all that stuff went down I mean I, that was one of those things that, like, looking back, I had such a different lens um, than oh when God. I was, like, Can 14. I pull this up? Does this bother you? Um, you got the you got the Shanene treatment? I got the Shanene treatment. This is, like, uh, the blackface character, isn't it? It's not the best. A predator is someone who would see something not appropriate for children and see no problem with it at all. She has huge titties, and actually, last night... <laughs> She showed her naked breast on Tiny Chat. L didn't you? Yes. How was it? Um, I was scared because they're like all five. <laughs> they're all five? They're like 12 years old. I mean, they've seen tits before. Except, well, maybe not. And then one girl said, I just come. Then the other girl said, I just turned a lesbian. <laughs> and then one boy vomited. Yeah. <laughs> Shane Dawson could be as angry as he wanted because there were people out there who thought he was a predator. But the problem wasn't the people who held this view, the problem was Shane Dawson himself. If he didn't want to be seen as a predator by the public, then he really needed to stop acting in the exact way a predator would act. To have nightmares, what are they about? Mine are always about somebody breaking into my house and taking my computer. But then it always scares me, because I'm like, if somebody stole my computer, you know how much blackmail they would have on me? I mean, the fact that I haven't been on to catch a predator yet is like a miracle. Every so often, clips would start going around the internet again of Shane Dawson's poor behavior. And we had seen him apologize a few times now. But in 2020, Everything was circulating more than it ever had before. Shane's disgusting behavior with animals, with other races, with children. It was out there for the whole of the internet to see, and Shane, yet again, would apologize. Although, this apology would be different, apparently. Hi. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I have done a lot of things in my past that I hate that I wish I could make go away, that I try to make go away by uh, deleting videos or untagging my Instagram things or literally doing whatever I can to pretend like those things didn't happen. Because yes, I apologize for a lot of them, but I'm 31, almost 32. Those apologies suck. Every apology video I've ever made has been a, from fear. It's, it's me sitting at home thinking the whole world hates me and crying and hyperventilating and then just turning on a webcam and just saying I'm sorry and then hoping people know I'm a good person and then it'll go away. And that is stupid. So first, let's start with blackface. Blackface was something that I did a lot. Like I did it a lot on my channel. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry to anybody that saw that 
and that also saw that people were lifting me up and were saying, you're so funny, Shane. Oh my God, you're so funny. Like, I, I can't even put myself in that head. I can't even imagine what it would be like to be black and to see this white guy do blackface and the whole internet at that time being like, LOL. And the biggest problem with me doing that and posting it on the internet was it made young people at the time who were watching me think it was okay. And and that, that's the craziest part. It's like, I've had people tell me, well, I used to watch your videos when I was a kid and yeah, I never saw anything wrong with that. And that is scary because it made me realize, oh my God, I have been a part of such a huge problem and I have just been avoiding it and that's wrong. So I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I added to the normalization of blackface or the normalization of saying the N-word. So there's a clip that has been going around again. A few years ago is when it came out and they cut out all the parts where I said, you know, pedophilia is disgusting and they put it together and it made it seem like I was, you know, talking about how it's normal. So gross, I would never say that. But also, I shouldn't have been joking about it anyways, which is my problem my fault. My childhood, my past, I've had a lot of pain. I've had a lot of bad things happen to me. I've had a lot of issues with my family. And I took that pain and I turned it into jokes. Even I saw a vlog clip of me and my cousin who was, I don't know, probably 12 or 13 at the time. And we were, you know, I was doing the birds and the bees talk. That dumb sh gross sh and I remember a few years ago, I reached out to her mom, my aunt, and I was like, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I can't believe I did this. Like, this is insane. I can't believe I talked to, you know, my cousin like that. And, you know, she was like, oh my God, we know, we know. It's okay. It was funny. Like, we all thought it was funny. Like, th that's just how our family is. So I kind of took that as like, okay, well, then I don't need to apologize for it. But I do because I posted it on the internet for everyone. Now, even though my apologies in the past for all of these things have not been good enough, they've not been thought out, they've been uh, very fear-based, they've been not, not good at all. I do wanna say, since I've apologized for those things in the past, I have made a lot of changes in my life, changes in just every, every, every facet of me has changed. I'm not just saying it, I'm not just saying, oh, I'm gonna stop doing that, guys. I did stop doing that, and I promise that whatever I do next, will be putting good into the world and it won't be putting hate or drama or anything negative and um, I'm gonna stick by that. Shane claimed that since he apologized for his bad behavior in the past, he had made changes and that he is nothing like that version of Shane anymore. He would never make content inappropriate for children. However, after those apology videos, oh my God. <laughs> Now what? Now just, are we gonna... <laughs> <laughs> what you're supposed to do is try to have sex with him and then he's gonna say, I'm tired. Oh, okay, baby, let's go in the shower. Oh, I'm just, I'm exhausted. No, please, but my I... dick. I only crowned my balls this morning. <laughs> please. So guys, if you want some of these fun new shirts, it's time to have Jane Dawson. It's prime to do it today. It's a big day. Let me shower. Fresh and clean. Whenever I get in a wig like you, I feel just rich and powerful and famous. Me when I'm Wendy Williams? <laughs> <laughs> These little girls look so bored. She's like, bitch, I'm trying to watch Tana Mojo. I want a story time. He fucked me with a toothbrush. <laughs> Shane apologized for dressing up as other races. He apologized for joking about kids on his podcast. He apologized for the disturbing video with him and his 12-year-old cousin. He apologized for the big clips that were being circulated around the internet, but he did not apologize for being in chat rooms talking to children in a very inappropriate way. He did not apologize for thinking it was funny that his friend flashed children in those chat rooms, and he did not apologize for thinking that he, molesting children, was funny. Ew, I was yeah. like molesting kids. He ended his latest apology by stating that whatever he did next, he would not be putting out drama or hate out into the world. However, in true Shane Dawson fashion, that would prove to be a lie. Because you mess in drama channels! I'm genuinely, like, too nice of a person 